Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors, and if this is the first time you've been to our channel, uh, please like and subscribe our stuff because we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers right here as fast as we can. Currently, we're sitting at about 13,700, and this video, we're going to be covering our top picks for entry level gear or entry level surf rods the only reason why you want to go with surf rod is because you want to cast farther than everybody else all right so like and subscribe that's the type of information you'll be covering here in the next couple of minutes and after you do that come back and watch this video all right so this is the channel and we do a lot of fishing as you can see lots of reels lots of everything but we haven't covered this question kind of in depth and we've been thinking about it for a while and if i've even noticed that our our guys our guys to the north the dtf guys out of wichita kansas also answered this question for some local guys in their area so this is kind of our version we've been asked this question probably the most often or in the life of this channel has been this question where how why which reel why this rod why that rod so we a majority of the people coming into the striper game they come from a low budget background so we always want to recommend something that they're comfortable with but at the same time i don't want to recommend stuff that's just it's just only going to last a one season okay so the stuff we re we're going to recommend is going to be the right size and the right gear and the right price hopefully the right price so here we go number one is we're going to talk about reels and then we're going to talk rods okay so number one reel that comes to mind is when you're going to fight stripers you're going to want a decent reel okay so overwhelmingly between our click of friends the daiwa black gold aka the daiwa bg is how it's known on the streets this takes the cake every time everyone understands that this you just need a big reel it takes a lot of beating and the 4500 size is the perfect size okay there's a 6500 and an 8000 those are just extremely big unless you do some real extreme off cliffs or something you, you really don't need that okay so 4500 is where you want to start off land based 4500 is key the good thing about this reel is it's cheap it's very affordable it's at that price point where you're, you're not really doubling your income or not income your expense but you're at the point where Daiwa can give you their technology at a minimum price what I'm saying by that is the the bail so not the bail but the rotor here this piece right here that is actually pretty good design once this company has designed this a lot of other companies latched on to it okay so that you know that's a good design and also this real big circle right here okay what that does is it just supports the gears inside the body a lot better this is technology that was developed from reels that are five six hundred dollars and they were able to put it in here the major difference was they just didn't give you the exotic materials they gave you aluminum aluminum is on everything okay so uh they gave you the design in a aluminum form which is why it's a little bit heavier than the high-end stuff but uh, the good side of this is it just makes it much much beefier so i recommend 102 dollars that's where you need to be okay this is a good reel and if paired and cast properly it could get you the distance too uh braided line 20 or 30 pound and that's all you need okay we'll talk about braided line in a different video because i feel that that has that's a topic that maybe you guys want to know as well so let me know if you guys want to know we'll cover that too so that would be g 100 bucks free shipping from Amazon links down in the description click on them it'll bring you right to this 
and this this way you won't get confused. Okay. Rule number two. This is the Shimano Altigra 5500XD. This reel is different from this reel. It's in a different category. This is a conventional reel. Everything's conventional about it. It's just really beefed up. This is what they would call a long cast reel. If you observe the spool, the spool is almost twice as tall as the other one. Okay, So if that one had a one inch spool, this would be a two inch spool. You can see in the pictures as well. It's a long cast reel. It's designed to cast farther than conventional reels. Well, at the same time, you're going to be paying a pretty penny for it. Now, this is probably the cheapest one I can find that is of quality that I would recommend for someone who is, you know, fairly serious about getting a nice reel. Now, there is another version, and the other version is called the CI4. Well, it would be these three letters here denote what models they are. So there's another version called CI4, which is basically the same design, but instead of aluminum, they use CI4 material, which is a carbon fiber reinforced plastic from Shimano. They use it on all their racing bikes and all that other stuff. So everybody's very familiar with the CI4 from the bike world. It's finally made it to the fishing world. It's been around for the last maybe six or seven years. But CI4, just know that it's plastic, it's tough, it's light. But that jacks up the price maybe a hundred bucks so that's why i still want i still in my opinion i favor this one 189 dollars is the price long neck spools long cast spools it's it's just for the guys that are just wanting that extra 10 15 yards if you put this reel on it it'll give you that that's why this reel is here and that's why it's recommended we've uh, I've, got, I've recommended this reel countless times I've actually had family members and, you know, random strangers sometimes too uh, report back that this reel is awesome. Okay, so this is a reel that you cannot find commonly in stores. All right, so I don't know what that was. You cannot find that commonly in stores, but there it is. Uh, Shimano Tegra 5500 XTD. Super slow oscillation, and it's... It's just awesome. I don't know what all that pop-up stuff was. <laughs> but, yes, those are the two reels we recommend. Anything from there on out we'll cover in a much more in-depth video later. Because once you get, once you start talking about other reels, you're going to start talking about, well, what do you really want to do with it? How much money you're going to spend? This is still under $200, okay? So, this is the good entry-level type reels, okay? So, those are the two reels we recommend. Let's talk about rods. So, if you're one of the guys that you're like, I just want to do, I just want to give get a taste of the striper world, okay? I don't want to invest too much money into it just yet. Well, this is the rod for you. This is the Pin Prevail 11 foot, two piece, medium heavy power. It's got traditional everything. Nothing is, it's just put it this way. It's an oversized rod that, it's an oversized rod that you're used to fishing. Okay, it's it's a surf rod, so it's not one of those big, bulky, fat catfish rods. It's not really a snagging rod, you know, nothing like that. It's definitely not a crappy rod. We've seen this. You get well. You guys have seen this in the project before. This was showcased five years ago when we were doing the whole like Sumer Lake trips and we're throwing giant plugs in top water, stripers smashing them. This rod was there on those days. So this rod comfortably throws a three ounce plug it's uh, it's gonna start lagging on a four ounce but comfortably on a three ounce it'll do and like i said great price point buying it straight from the factory 85 66 you can't beat it comes with free shipping come on come on guys there's also a version two which i feel version two should be better than version one but i haven't gotten my hands on a version two yet so I'd recommend version 1 just to be safe, but if you guys are feeling adventurous, version 2 it is. I think the version 2 is like $10 more. I don't know what the real differences between them is, so, you know, take, take your pick. Alright, so, but if you're one of those guys, so, so, so yeah, we'll step back one step, okay? This pairs up perfectly with a dial BG. Okay, so if you do that, you're under, you're still under 200 bucks. You got a really good setup. Okay, so that's let's just put it there. So go out, put some 20 pound line on there, 
puts on Power Pro, Power Pro Max Quattro, twenty pound on there, and you can you can sling it far, okay? Or if you want, you can put that reel on it. It'll sling it a little bit farther. But if you're saying to yourself, "Look, I'm not putting a two hundred dollar reel on a hundred dollar rod," this is where you go, dude. This is the next step up. This is the this is the Saint Croix Mojo Surf Rod. Surf Rod comes in. These are the two piece. All these rods are two pieces, by the way. Uh, these are the specs that we recommend. So you have a 10.6, 10.6, and the 11. We haven't really touched 12s, and 9 is not really a surf rod, okay? 10 is the minimum. If you're going to get a 10, step it up to 10.6, okay? The, what, the one we had was a 10.6 medium heavy, the one that could throw a 2 to 6 ounce. It threw pretty good. You know, it kind of struggled past four. Actually, really struggled past four. So you really want to keep it right in that sweet spot. Two to three, three and a half is right where this rod really likes it. The medium action, I would probably not recommend unless if you do predominantly a lot of, uh, like, throwing bombers. So some you know, subsurface type stuff. If you're throwing top waters like we are... You know, you want the medium heavy. It just slings it out faster or farther. And even step it up to maybe the 11 foot. It'll it'll be fine. Just fine for you guys. Uh, but that's one rod that we actually had in the project for a while. And this is the, what I'm talking about. When you get to this price point, you get these weird looking guides. This is the first guide. If you've never bought a surf rod before, you look at this guide. This is the first guide your lines go through as it leaves real. It looks like it's on there backwards, but it's actually there like that for a reason. Uh, I don't know why. I don't don't even, don't ask me why, but all the surf rods do this now. And this is a good entry level that starts with these guides. This rod is definitely lighter than the Prevail. Okay, so if you want a light setup, because now we're talking long rods, are going to be real heavy. This one's fairly light. It's still in that very very light category. Not the lightest, but you know. Lightable. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, not lightable. Okay, so St. Croix Mojo made in the United States in St. Croix, Michigan, I think. Uh, but yeah, American products, American made. They have good warranties on these also. SC2, I think they're even up to SC3 now on some of the ocean rods, but SC2 is still good. So I highly recommend it. that one. And then, if you're saying, okay, I want to go a little bit higher than that, you will step it up to this one. This is the next one that we recommend. This is the Temple Fork Outfitters. 10 foot 6 mag, two piece. Okay, so this is the rod that, if you've been paying attention to the channel in the last week or so, this is 47's rod. This rod has been paired up with a Sotiga. Sotiga is about $700, $700 real. This rod, he has managed to not outgrow this rod yet. So, that speaks a lot of volumes about this rod. He likes it because it's super light. According to him, this is the lightest 10 foot 6 rod out there. Okay, and you pair it with a light reel too, it's just going to be a pleasure to fish. And you're just going to be able to put more power behind the rod with more power behind the rod it'll just whip stuff even farther out <laughs> that's all i gotta say so anyways those are you know that's gonna be the five items that we recommend and like i said every time you go with a surf setup you want to throw braid uh braids vary from manufacturer to manufacturer but the number one braid that we're all sporting right now is fairly expensive but you get the best cast uh distances out of it it is the power pro the Max Quattro line in 20 pound. Learn how to tie those knots good, and you can flip these out there real, real, real far. 20 pound line, if you play a fish properly, you can bring in 30, 40 pounders. Like, you can. Assuming the current's not too bad, okay? So that's all I got for today. These are the five, like, like I said, recap. Uh, all the uh, links are going to be in the description. Just click on that, it'll take you right to this page. Uh, like I said, Start up once again, you know, dial BG. Undoubtedly, like a tank, okay? <laughs> you want something that's a little bit better than a tank, it shoots a little farther. Otegra. Good entry level, uh, rod reel, uh, just rod, prevail, surf rod. Step it up from there, you actually want a legit surf rod. 
Shimano uh, St. Croix Mojo is where it's at. A little bit up from there, Temple Fork Outfitters. These are probably the best uh, products that we've tested till today. And the best feedback that we've tested today. There's a lot of other options out there, but based on what we like and the reputation of the rods and things like that, this is what we will recommend for these, you know, for an entry level uh, rod and reel. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if we're missing something. Maybe you know there's a new product that's out that we should be testing. I don't know. But like I said, based off our feedback, our group, our group of friends, those are the five items that I would say can get the job done for just about anybody. All right, so once again, before you go, uh, click the like and subscribe button. Share this with your friends. Uh, all right, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.